Hi everyone, it's Serena and today you're going to be so surprised by this recipe. You will make it again and again. It is just so good, so pay attention. Okay, so this is actually called salmon under a fur coat and it's delicious. I've started to do some of the preparations now for you. I've actually steamed potato, beetroot, carrot. I've boiled some eggs and I've chopped up some smoked salmon. I pre-made some mayonnaise, so look out for that recipe because my mayonnaise is number one. And so I'm going to do some of it now and then I'll assemble the salad for you. So I'm going to start by just chopping up the three hard boiled eggs like so. Turning it on. And it only takes a couple of seconds. There it is. <laughs> okay. So we have our chopped hard boiled eggs ready. And we're going to grate the carrots in with the disc support and the four millimeter disc. So we just pop that on. Remember the four millimeters is actually written on the disc. Close that up like so. And I'm just going to pop those carrots in like grating it. There it goes. Now this recipe usually takes ages to do because you're grating and chopping by hand. But this is so quick, it's just fantastic. So remembering it'll always leave a little skin so I don't peel my vegetables. Uh, so that's that. And so here we have it. Now we're going to actually assemble everything. The potatoes, now this is grated potatoes. So there's your grated potatoes. And you just push it right down, right down and make it nice and even. That doesn't make that noise. So great, grated cooked potatoes. And I like to just make it nice and smooth because it's going to be layered. It's really amazing. So there we have it. Now the smoked salmon. So this is all just chopped up smoked salmon. And you put a layer in here like that. Nice and evenly. Beautiful. Okay. Some spring onion, but you can use freshly chopped onion if you like. I just prefer the spring onion myself, like that, okay, and some mayonnaise, so a bit of mayonnaise in there, like so, spread that out. Now this is a salad that you leave rest for about three to five hours or just overnight uh, before you eat it because all of the flavours come together really beautifully, just, it's, it's so delicious. <laughs> So, so good. Then I'm going to put the half of the eggs in here. Be careful of that blade. So half the eggs just into there like that. Spreading it out nicely. Okay, spreading it out nicely. Lovely. Then the carrots go in. So the carrots go in like that. Now this is going to be a really high one. Maybe I won't put all that carrot in. So, okay, carrots in. Beautiful. You can see how I'm layering it and it looks really colourful and, um, and really delicious. Now I haven't overcooked these vegetables because I just like them just done. So that's, that's really good. So, and then I'm going to put the beetroot on top of that. So being a spring form tin, we're going to actually open it and you'll get to see how beautiful it actually comes out to be. Okay, so there it is there. Just lovely. Now I'm going to just pop the rest of that mayonnaise on top. And do have a look at my mayonnaise recipe because mayonnaise is so easy to do in your food processor. So, so just putting a nice layer of mayo on the top there. Now 
Now this would normally take me hours and hours to do and I'd only do it once a year, you know, at celebrations, you know. So there it is, looks fabulous. And now we decor decorate it. So I'm decorating it by putting some of the egg right in the middle. Nice pile of egg there in the middle. That looks great. And some dill. So I'm going to just pop some dill around the outside like that. And dill always adds a beautiful, you know, flavour, but it also looks great. Looks really nice. So here we have it. <laughs> I've made quite a mess here. So here we have it and we've got it on a spring form pan. Now, as I said, usually I would just put some glad wrap on that and I would leave it in the fridge for about three to five hours and then all of that sets beautifully and the flavours come through. But I'm going to open it now just to show you how be beautiful it is. So now you can also make these in the, the very small little um, spring form tins too if you want individual ones for people. But this is just so beautiful to put on your, on your table as a, a main salad. Now, I'm going to see how it goes. There it is. Okay, look at that. Look how beautiful it is. I don't want to say, <laughs> send it off somewhere. So look at it there. Isn't that beautiful? You can see all those lovely layers and it looks lovely. And you pop it on your table and you can cut it at like a cake. So it's a lovely meal or, as I said, a lovely salad to add to your dinner. All right, take care, enjoy and really try this because I bet you if you do, you'll make it again and again and again. Thank you, Magimix, for making it easy. Okay, see ya.